godly standards for dating and marriage. God's standards are higher than human standards. He is the king of kings and we are sons and daughters of the king. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18, I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. So God is saying that we are his sons and daughters. And because we are his sons and daughters and him being the queen, that means we are royalty. A son and daughter of a king makes you royalty. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. Okay? So God has standards for his children. His standards are higher than our standards, our human standards. So he has standards for his children. And the Bible tells us that because we are children of the king, we are royalty. Now the Holy Spirit works in us every single day, continuously throughout the day to make us into the image of God, to help us walk in that image. The Bible tells us that we, we are already made in the image of God, but the Holy Spirit who comes to live in us helps us every day to walk in that truth, in that reality, to walk in that image. And this can be done many ways by pruning us, transforming us, um, 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 uh, putting us through refining processes, wildernesses, trials, and so on and so forth. And so... Don't be discouraged if your current situation is not fully in the image of Christ. Yeah, don't allow that to discourage you and don't allow the enemy to come in and say, oh, you're doing all these wrong things and make you sin consciousness. Don't feel discouraged if you're not yet fully walking in the image of Christ. You'll get there because one of the jobs of the Holy Spirit, he has many jobs, but one of the jobs of the Holy Spirit is to convict you not condemn you, that's of the evil one, convict you, this is what you're doing wrong, this is how it should be done, take you by the hand and lead you day by day in the way of righteousness, you know, making you into the, helping you walk in the image of God every single day, so you'll get there, and it goes without saying in relationships also, in relationships and in marriage, God has standards for these relationships. God has standards for these marriages. Why? Because you are a son and daughter of the king, which makes you royalty. So God has standards for you and he wants the best for you in that marriage, in that relationship. You're royalty and so he wants to give you royalty. If you're royalty, God does not want to give you anything less. If you're royalty, God does not want to give you something worldly. If you're royalty, God does not want to give you narcissistic relationships, abusive relationships, relationships that do not see you in the same eyes that God sees you. You know, you're royalty. God wants your spouse to also be royalty. You're walking in spirit. God wants your spouse to also be walking in spirit. The Bible says do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And that also goes with without saying for people who say they're believers but are not walking in spirit. It goes for these people too. For what does righteousness have to do with unrighteousness and what does darkness have to do with light? Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You see, God wants your spouse to also be royalty. God wants your spouse to also see you as God sees you. Valuable, special, respecting you, walking heavily in spirit, able to see in the spiritual realm. Imagine having a spouse that cannot see in the spiritual realm while you're seeing in the spiritual realm. What kind of relationship would that be? You will be telling them that that's a spiritual attack and that might be as Jezebel or that's witchcraft there or I see the demon of lust in that person and they're just thinking, Because they can't see in the spiritual realm. Right? So God wants a spouse that can also see in the spiritual realm. God wants a spouse that sees you with spiritual eyes. Now, if your spouse 
cannot see in the spiritual realm, then how are they supposed to see you with spiritual eyes? As God sees you, royalty, priesthood, sons and daughters of the king. And because they can't see you with spiritual eyes, they will start to see you with the physical eyes, which is a lust, only outward appearance, worldly things, worldly ways. And they can't treat you like royalty because they can't see you with the spiritual eyes to see you like royalty. You know, you don't want to be making mistakes of rushing into things. Don't just date anyone. Don't just grab anyone because they say they love you, because they're charming you, because they're romancing you, because they're providing for you, because they make you feel good or whatever. Don't just grab anyone just for those things. You need to be sure that God is telling you that's the one. You need to be 100% sure. The Bible tells us in the Song of Solomon's chapter 8 verse 4, I charge you. O daughters of Jerusalem, do not stir up love, nor awaken love until it pleases. Don't stir up love, nor awaken love until it pleases. In other words, don't awaken love before it's time. Stop stirring up love to satisfy your feelings or how you feel before it's time. Don't rush into marriage. Don't rush into relationships. Don't rush to grab anyone because you're lonely, because you're bored, because they're saying the right words, because they say they love you, because they're romancing you, because whatever. <clears throat> because they're charmers. That's when narcissistic people start to come in. You have to wait and make sure that these people see you as God sees you, valuable and special and royalty and a child of God. And when they start seeing you in this manner through the spiritual eyes and the Christ-centered and spirit-led themselves, they won't rush you into anything. They won't care if you say, no, I want to wait because the Bible says so. In fact, they will agree with you because the Bible says so. They should be the one telling you too because the Bible that says so. Especially if you're the woman and they're the man. They are the man. You know, don't rush until God reveals to you clearly and then confirm it and confirm it again until God reveals to you clearly that this is the spouse for you, that this is the wife for you, that this is the husband for you. Don't rush until God reveals to you. Don't rush. And another thing I would like to mention very clearly, very quickly, is that when someone is not for you or maybe they, they are for you but not at this current time because you don't know how god is going to move things around you will see red flags okay and it's very important that we do not ignore the red flags if someone is not for you or someone might be for you later but not right now because the holy spirit is still working in them with them because they're still worldly and if you allow them into your life right now, then they could destroy you and make you worldly too and draw you away from God. If that is the case, the Holy Spirit will open your eyes supernaturally to see the red flags. Then you have free will to take these red flags seriously or ignore them. But if the person is not for you, whether now or forever, the red flags are there. It's not possible that the Holy Spirit just lets you go along with that and not give, not show you red flags. Red flags are always there and it's the Holy Spirit who will open your eyes so you can see these red flags. The Holy Spirit will orchestrate a situation so that you hear a conversation, you see a message, you see something in the eyes, you see some kind of red flag will be given to you and not just one, many. Right? And it's important that you take those red flags seriously, take them to God, take them to God, because sometimes the enemy could deceive you and make you think that someone is not for you when they are for you. Um, take it to God, have him give you revelation, pray over it, meditate on it, get in the Bible, you know, but really, really pray over it, converse with God about it, seek God with all your heart about it. And um, ask him to give you a revelation and God will. And then confirm, confirm, confirm. And you will know, you know, you know, you 
most probably you know anyway but um take it to god and that's a good piece of advice because a lot of us are dealing with such issues right now um whether we we're with someone or we're getting ready to be with someone you know be very careful because if the holy spirit is saying no or if the holy spirit is saying not right now there's a reason why the holy spirit is saying not right now there's still work to be done and when you go and disobey that you're giving the devil a foothold and the bible says do not give the devil a foothold why because the only reason he comes is to kill steal and destroy right with that being said New Age to Jesus, Worldly Life of Deception, Who is God, Spiritual Warfare, and This is Grace. All can be purchased using the link below or any Amazon worldwide. If this ministry is blessing you, be sure to bless it back. Links are below. God bless you. Peace be with you.